Good day. Today we're going to talk about opioids, specifically prescription opioids, heroin, and fentanyl. What is an opioid? Opioids are drugs that act on the nervous system to relieve pain. Continued use and abuse can lead to physical dependence and withdrawal symptoms. An overdose of opioids can cause death. So let's talk about the pathway to addiction. Some people who are prescribed opioids for medical reasons can become addicted with as little as one prescription. This is called accidental addiction. This happens when a person takes a legally prescribed opioid for a legitimate reason and ends up becoming addicted to opioids. Another issue is when someone abuses opioids for recreational purposes and becomes addicted. This can happen with the first use of opioids. When someone takes opioids for a period of time, they build up tolerance to the drug which requires taking more of the drug to get the same effect. And tolerance to opioids can lead to addiction. When someone becomes addicted to opioids, they need to use the drug to feel normal. If they don't take the drug on a regular basis, they can go through withdrawal. And withdrawal is described as being very painful both physically and psychologically. We also know that a person might do anything to avoid going through withdrawal. Let's talk about prescription opioids. They're some of the most sought after street drugs. Oxycontin and other strong opioids can go for $30 or more per pill on the street. We also know that doctors over prescribing prescription opioids has led to some patients becoming addicted to opioids. So we also know that three out of four people who used heroin in the past year also misused opioids first and seven out of 10 people who used heroin in the past year also misused opioids in the past year. Let's talk more about prescription opioids. Many people store unused opioids in their medicine cabinets and save them just in case. People who abuse prescription opioids typically get them from family and friends. To avoid these powerful drugs from getting into the wrong hands, it's important to secure these drugs or properly dispose of them. Many police departments and pharmacies will take unwanted prescription drugs and properly dispose of them. The latest trend is the manufacturing of look-alike prescription drugs. Dealers are manufacturing drugs to look like prescription medications. Sometimes these fake medications contain fentanyl, which is attributed to overdose deaths. We also know that dealers are buying pill presses to make the drugs look just like uh, pharmaceutical grade drugs. The important thing for drug abusers to remember is that there's no guarantee that what they are buying from the street is actually a pharmaceutical grade drug. It's a complete roll of the dice. Here's a picture of counterfeit oxycodone pills that contain a substance called U-47700, which is a synthetic form of fentanyl. Let's talk about heroin. Heroin is an opioid that is made from the resin of poppy plants. It can come in many different colors and forms. Most heroin abusers start ingesting the drug by snorting it, but almost all heroin abusers end up using a syringe and injecting it. With that, uh, shared needles increase the potential for HIV and hepatitis C infections. Drug poisoning and overdose deaths have become the leading cause of injury death in the United States more than shooting and car crashes combined. Each day in the United States, over 175 people die as a result of a drug poisoning or overdose. Here's a picture of black tar heroin. And here's a picture of brown heroin. And here's a picture of gray heroin, or also called gray death, because sometimes it's mixed with fentanyl. So heroin paraphernalia typically involves needles, spoons, and little cotton balls, and the spoons will have burn marks on the bottom. Here's another picture of a spoon with burn marks. So let's talk about fentanyl. Fentanyl is a Schedule II synthetic opioid that is approximately 100 times stronger than morphine and was developed for the pain management and treatment of cancer patients. Deaths related to fentanyl have significantly increased over the last few years, and clandestinely produced fentanyl is sometimes added to heroin to increase its effects or mixed and diluted and sold as heroin. 
as little as 100 to 150 micrograms of fentanyl is enough to overdose and kill a person. Here's a picture of the amount of fentanyl that can overdose and kill a person next to a penny for perspective. Here's a picture of fentanyl powder. And sometimes fentanyl is packaged as fire. Uh, we've heard dealers on the street call what they know that they're selling as fentanyl as fire. Let's talk about carfentanil. Carfentanil is a synthetic opioid used as a large animal anesthetic, typically used for elephants. The DEA released a bulletin warning first responders about carfentanil and the dangers of that substance. Carfentanil is 100 times more powerful than fentanyl, so that makes it 10,000 times more powerful than morphine. It's been found in the Cincinnati, Ohio area and is responsible for an even bigger spike in overdose deaths. Here's a picture of the amounts of heroin, fentanyl, and carfentanil that would overdose and kill somebody. You can see that the heroin is a larger amount, fentanyl is a little less than the heroin, and carfentanil is just a speck. Mixture with other drugs. Narcotics units are finding that drug dealers are mixing heroin and or fentanyl in with other drugs to increase the effects. We know that dealers are mixing heroin and fentanyl with meth, they're mixing it with cocaine, uh, marijuana, and spice. The issue with that is any mixture of those drugs with the other drugs can cause overdoses and deaths. This is the risk with buying drugs from the street. There's no guarantee from the dealer that what a person is buying is what they're actually getting. People have overdosed and died from using a drug that turned out to be laced with heroin and or fentanyl. And for further information, go to lookupindiana.org. Thank you.